Good evening, friends. Welcome back to my channel, Infinite Trade. My name is Robin, and let's do a Nifty and Bank Nifty analysis for tomorrow. So tomorrow it's Wednesday. Bank Nifty is expiry today. It was Fin Nifty's expiry, but market was in range uh, due to the gap down opening, and uh, you know all the indices opened within yesterday's range. So I expected them to be sideways. Uh, only I think it was Nifty which uh, broke down further and made a new low close to twenty one eight hundred. Uh, precisely 793 so what next is we are something uh, going to discuss now and uh, tomorrow's expiry of bank nifty will it be trending or again a sideways market is something we'll discuss further so for the past almost one two three four four days we are seeing bank nifty putting only in decision candles so Pretty difficult to trade during the intraday and uh, trust me in the last uh, one week I did not trade much also uh, because I was expecting such kind of a movement so I did not want to waste my time losing money or doing over trading. So sometimes you will find these days wherein you may have to you know sit quiet and enjoy and relax. So that's what I was doing so far and let's see if we can see any momentum tomorrow. So before we begin the levels, let's quickly check out the participant data. So FIS closed 7,099 future long and added 16,945 future shots. So this is a good uh, big number. And if you look at options, they have call shots and a little bit of put shot. And if you look at pro, they have call shot and put long. So it is the retailers who are holding call long so retailers are bullish and pros and fis are bearish and if you look at uh, the data for the month of march so far you know, just doing a rough calculation so longs are somewhere close to 10,859 in the futures and shorts are close to 37,620 so shorts are definitely uh, more in the system now again so we should see a strong dip or either a strong reversal for the upside. So like I said yesterday that market is actually waiting for the Fed outcome which is due tomorrow. And if there is any rate cut or the rate stands the same. So that's the outcome that the market is awaiting for. And everybody is expecting a little ease in the interest rate. But what Fed is planning is something which we'll have to watch out for. So market is just taking a halt uh, for that decision. So usually what happens is either the market stays silent and reacts uh, post the news or, uh, you know, market takes a short covering, uh, whichever side, and then reacts to the news. But our market is just silent uh, because we have elections coming up and we also have the... Uh, we we don't have but we have to react to the fed outcome okay so nasdaq uh yesterday did a gap up today did a gap down and dow jones is uh similar to bank nifty completely sideways and correction is due in uh us markets also so let's see if they react to fed outcome and if they show a fall then i think our market should come down further and then eventually take a pause before elections and then uh, react to the elections and take a trend is what I'm expecting on a longer time frame. So let's quickly uh, check out the daily chart. So this is a very big bull candle and exactly at low, uh, we are showing reactions. We are taking a halt. Today we have seen an inside candle and uh, only if we break down this range further, say if we Otherwise, we are yet to test this low, which is February 29th. Uh, the low is somewhere close to 45,661. So only if we break this swing is then we are going to have a tough time in Bank Nifty. It may fall down further, but it still has space to come to this uh, place. But the only problem is, you know, it has continuously coming down. If it was to put a swing and then come down, then I would have taken some aggressive entries, but uh, market is not giving that chance. It just does some intraday moves on the pullback and then it falls down. So if we go back to our smaller time frame, let's see how do we trade tomorrow. So the logic remains the same. <clears throat> uh, above 46,845, 
you know we are going to be bullish and we the analysis is going to be the same what i discussed yesterday so about 46 845 we're going to be bullish and we will look for a target of 47 400 and below we will go for put only if we break this low uh, 46000 the low that we made uh, a couple of days before uh, i think it was yesterday right yeah so if we break that low is when we can expect market to fall uh, if we open a bit of a gap down within this area we will see some initial spikes uh, but since it's an expiry and if at all we you know break down further we break this level, then we can see some good fall. Uh, but I hope that we see continuous candles, but not uh, these type of candles wherein it puts a candle red and then eventually it picks it up and we lose all the premiums. So that shouldn't happen. So let's see how it works. So, and like I said, call only about this, or you can try a call here also because this is still a valid support. Only if we break this level is when it gets. Uh, nasty and it can fall so tomorrow if we open gap down you can try a call lesser quantity do a scalping wait for a target of 46 400 book it and that's how you will have to trade and actual trend will change from this place okay so now let's quickly check out nifty nifty uh, i loved it it broke down some important levels like i said this level is very important and even if it breaks it is going to be a little slow and market was definitely a little slow so tomorrow if you want to buy call you should only plan about 21890 this is the swing then it can go and try to fill the gap of 22050 uh, if we open flat or say gap up and if we do not go up and if we break down further then there is a high possibility we may uh, fall down further like i said we have uh, if we break 21,900 or 875, we have downside levels open up to 21,550, 600 area. Okay, so mark a PDL line here. And if you see market going about 21,880, then there is a possibility it may fill the gap here. So that is a call trade that we can plan. And if it gives an opportunity of selling here, so just in case it opens flat and it further breaks down, will take less quantity of put and wait for a good target so this is my view on nifty and bank nifty for tomorrow thank you for watching we'll soon meet another video till then take care bye bye